Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be looking at converting images to text. Now, I don't mean we're going to be converting them to like ASCII art. We're actually going to be converting the information of the image to text. So what do I mean by that? Well, I have a folder here with two images. Uh, we got this JPEG here and we have this little small um, bitmap image. And here I am in the shell with those same that same folder with the same images. Now, if you have Image Magic installed, if you're on a Linux system, you probably already have it installed. If not, it's probably going to be in your package manager. Image Magic allows you to manipulate images in all sorts of ways. And again, I have those two images. I could take one of them and use the convert command, which is part of Image Magic, and I can, can say convert img.bmp uh, to img.jpg, and it has now created that JPEG right here. So. We did that, and we can also go the other way. So if I have that uh, lake.jpg, I can say lake dot either png or sorry, I did image to png, lake dot png or bitmap or tiff or uh, all your standard image formats. And convert knows uh, by what extension you give it what to convert it to. Of course, you can give it other parameters if you want to change other aspects of it. And if I use the file commands, look at all these, it will tell us what each one is. So we have a bitmap, we have two JPEGs, and we have our PNG image. We can also convert to text. So, for example, I can say convert lake dot, uh, P, or lake dot JPEG, and I can convert that to lake dot TXT. And it will take a moment. And I actually lowered the resolution of this image because if you have a large image, it really does take a long time. But you'll see, if I now open that up with a text editor search, such as vim.txt, we now have every pixel written out. So it says up here that this was converted by uh, image uh, magic, that it pixels, and then it tells us our resolution, things about the colors, and then each here, the first pixel, the second pixel, it tells you uh, the row that it's on and which pixel it is, and then it gives you the um, RGB values here, and then it also gives you the hex value, and then a little more information about the RGB values over here. Uh, so when would this be useful? Lots of times it's not. I mean, this is, this is creating a, a rather large, long file, but back when I first started learning about shell scripting, I actually wrote a script that converted a video file to individual images, and then it went through and found certain colors on those using grep, and I did a sort of a motion tracking with that. Let me explain that a little bit more. It's definitely not the best way to do something like that, but it was something I was able to do with the knowledge I had, which is part of programming, taking the skills you have and solving your problems that way. So let's look a little bit more at this. Let's take another look at that lake.txt. So again, it has all these RGB values, but if I search here through, through here for something like the word gray, there are something like this one says gray 64, a gray 65, and there are actually gonna be other color values. Let's look at this image here that I have drawn. Uh, I have, this is pure red, so the value for this for RGB would be 255, for the red and zero and zero for the other colors. The black would be zero comma zero comma zero and white would be 255 comma 255 comma 255. But if I was to take this bitmap image and use the convert command, convert this BMP and I could say img.txt, does very quick because this is like a 20 by 20 pixels I think is what I set this to. So a very small image, but txt, I can come in here now and you can see uh, it gives us the RGB value here, but over here it tells us that is white. So there are certain colors that we'll do that for. If we come through here, you can see that there's black and red. So when I was creating that motion tracking, which I thought I uploaded the video to my YouTube channel. I just tried looking for it and couldn't find it. But basically I held a red LED and I moved it around and then I converted it to images. And then what I did was I created a text file like this, grepped for the first red pixel, and then I was able to overlay an image on that adjusting the, uh, the center of the image a little bit, and I was able to overlay an image wherever that red LED was. Again, not the best way to do that, but it worked. Um, so if you're doing a uh, pure red or pure green, blue, certain colors, it will actually say the word, which allows you to actually grep for the words, but you can always grep for RGB values if you're looking for something like that. Now, a little more on this subject. Uh, if I was to do the convert command again, instead of 
putting it into a file, what I could do is txt colon dash, and what that will do is dump the text out to the screen. So then I can grep for it without actually creating a file. Let's do that again with the lake image. Lake.jpg. There we go. And you can see, uh, even though it's a low resolu resolution image, uh, 640 by something, uh, it still takes a little while because it's sharing a lot of information. It's giving you a lot of information for each pixel, the coordinates, and three different values for the colors that you can use. Um, so something else to think about, though. Again, if I was to convert out our bitmap image here, we have the reds and the whites here. And again, that would be this image here. Now, if I was to do the same thing for the same image that we converted to a JPEG, we are now getting other values. Look, we have some values here that aren't red, black, or white. And we have some grays and some off-whites. So again, 255, 255, 255 would be white. And you can see here we're close, but they aren't quite. So these are some off-whites. And if they were lower numbers, they might be um, slightly lighter than the black. And the reason for that is because of the JPEG compression. So if I was to switch over here to the image again, this is the bitmap image. If I was to go here over to the PNG, or I'm sorry, the JPEG image, you can see here that because of the compression, there are some, I don't know if that's coming up in the video, but I can have one here that's slightly yellow, slightly red, slightly like a bluish color, and we have some grays around the black, and that's just part of the JPEG compression. So if you want to uh, preserve those um, hard lines around colors, you're gonna wanna use something that doesn't use a compression like that, and that's gonna become important in a future video. We're gonna be actually be using this technique to do something from the shell with images in, in a, upcoming video. So watch for that. Subscribe if you haven't. Filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with the K. There's a link in the description. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.